Yeah. It never ceases to amaze me every time I come to the Bowback Rivers and see the amazing change in the last decade, what's happened around here. It's, it's phenomenal to see what I remember to what I see now. In 2007, where we're standing now was wasteland. It wasn't wasteland, it was a factory. Or it was a factory that was closed down. We had to pull out thousands of tyres, dumped vans, dumped safes, the obligatory shopping trolley, fridges. We had some person dump all these fridges in, better come around and collect them. People never used to come here. They'd only come here to do things like that. So I've lived in London my whole life, 47 years. So I've never left, really. I have, but I always come back. And there's some lovely memories, born and bred with my mum and dad walking along the, the canal, Kentish town. I remember going to the Pirate Castle as a seven-year-old with my school. And it kind of, I felt it started to fall in love with the canal, well, London and the canal itself. 18 years I've worked on and managing the canals around London. Walking in the canal, the towpaths in London, I've seen it change. I've got so many memories of boating and then working. 2007, we started to design Three Mills Lock to what we call impound the water, to keep the water in constant level on this loop in the Bowback Rivers that goes all the way around the stadium. Traditionally, an industrial area, an area of commerce going back 150 years all around these waterways that we manage. In the lead up to the Olympic Games in 2012, we built all this infrastructure up around the water course. You can go along the river now and see the difference on the river banks. We've got wildlife, we've put the habitat in, we've put reed beds in, and the legacy is with us now. And the final part of the jigsaw behind me now is Carpenter's Roadlock. With Heritage Lot TV funding, we've created this, this, this masterpiece, 20th century engineering built with 21st century technology. You know, I'm so proud. It's, it's life changing for some people and I feel partly responsible for that. So now we're gonna be opening up for everyone to use in the future.